How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the source code. My name is Deshaun and in this video we are going to be going ahead and getting our bot up and running. Now this is incredibly easy and as you guys can probably tell by the length of the video it is not going to be taking that much time for us to get our bot up and running and working on Discord. So in the last episode, we made ourselves a bot. So let me just go ahead and get this up real quick. Okay, so as we can see here, we have our Discord JS YouTube video and we have already invited it to our server. So let's just go ahead and close that down for now. So in the first episode, I mentioned how we did the automatic generation of our package.json. And now this is important because if you didn't do this way, you may have changed this particular line, which is our main, and our and you might have named it uh, main.js, you might have named it your bot name.js. So whatever your main says in your package.json file, just go ahead and copy that, and then we'll go ahead and make a new file, and we'll paste it index.js, and that will be our main class. Or you can also quickly create a new file by just typing uh, control N, which will just also create a new file. It just won't be directly named right away until you actually save it. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So we're gonna wanna go ahead and say is const discord equals require, I can type require, and we wanna just go ahead and require discord.js. And now um, you may not have noticed this, but if I were to go ahead and change this out for double quotes, you can see here that we are getting an error. Now, that isn't, it isn't necessarily wrong, okay? This is what I was talking about with the linter. As you can see here, uh, string must use, strings must use single quote, eslint. So, if we look inside of our eslint here, uh, if we go ahead and we do, 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 scroll quotes. So we could change this, we could delete it. So if we went ahead and just deleted this real quickly here, we saved it, we can see here that it goes away, but I'm gonna go ahead and keep it and that way it'll keep reminding me to use single quotes. So now underneath this, let's go ahead and say const client equals new discord dot client capital C. Okay, and so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna say client dot once and then we will go ahead and throw parentheses in We'll just close this off so that way we know that that is finished there. We'll say ready. We'll add a comma, parentheses, equal sign, greater than sign. And then we'll add in our brackets. And then inside of here, we will just go ahead and say console.log. Dot log. And inside of here, I keep doing double quotes because I'm coming from Java side of things. And we'll say ready. Cool. And then let's just go ahead and say client login, and we will go ahead and add our token which if you guys go to the discord js site if you go to your bot you can go ahead and reveal your token i'm going to reveal it because i'm going to change it anyways um and then we can just copy it and then we will paste it into here now everything looks good okay and then we'll just add our semicolon at the end Okay, so let's go into our terminal. We're obviously already in our folder there. So now all we're gonna say is node, and then whatever our main JavaScript class is, which for us, it is index.js. Go ahead and click enter. And we can see here that bot is ready. All right, so let me pull up Discord. Let's go to our playground server. And as you can see over here, Discord.js YouTube has launched and it is up and running. And as I said, this is an incredibly easy video, so it's not gonna be too crazy. And just to make sure that it is working and we didn't just do some weird movie magic or uh, it says ready in the console, but it's not actually working in the Discord, we'll go ahead and say client dot on, and then we'll say parentheses, we'll say single quotes, message, oops, inside of our single quotes, message, and all of this documentation is on the Discord uh, JS documentation site where you can actually go ahead and see what are all the different types you can get, or excuse me, what are all the different methods and properties that you can get from this message and from what of different types of events you can run and check for. 
on the Discord documentation site, which I will also have linked down below along with the Discord JS guide. Okay, so now that we have that there, let's just go ahead and say message. And then we'll go ahead and say equal sign greater than. And I know I keep saying equal sign greater than. These are just called arrow functions. Uh, you guys can call them arrow functions uh, just because, I don't know, it just sits better in my head. I'm gonna just call it um, equal sign greater than. So that way you guys know what I'm typing if you're having trouble seeing. Let's go inside of here. And let's say console.log. And we'll say message.content. So basically what we're doing here is we're checking whenever the client discord is sending a message whoever it's from doesn't matter right now we're basically just getting that message we're getting the content of that message and we're just going to console log it so if we go ahead and close our bot let's save our index.js file if we launch this and if we jump back into our discord here if we say hello hi bye test meow it doesn't matter what we say it's console printing that out. Same thing here. If I were to, you know, copy in facebook.com, it's going to just go ahead and print that same thing out. So once again, like I said, guys, this is an incredibly short video. So I don't want to make these videos too long because I want them to be a really easy and accessible resource for when you're Googling and you're searching how to do a particular thing. So while YouTube may not love the short videos and they recommend that the videos be 10 minutes and 30 seconds, whatever. I'm not really too concerned. Um, I know I'm blabbing on right now, which is just increasing the time, but that's not why I'm doing it. But in the next video, we are gonna go ahead and we're gonna start with some really basic commands and it's going to be super, super easy. That video will also probably be extremely short, but until then, be sure to leave a comment, drop a like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.